you're hitting 400 in the backyard playing wiffle ball, you're still doing something pretty good. It's been a great start, and I'm interested to see if he can feed off of it the rest of the way. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, guys. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field, but it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he'll pull into second with one away. Everybody in the park, including me, was wondering if this thing was out of here when it left the bat. Well, Matt, I thought it definitely had the height. It just didn't have the distance. The outfielder gives it a great effort, but it's just out of his reach. But he does get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a double. Here's J.D. Martinez as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A swing by Martinez and this is driven to left back goes Stanton and it's gone into the monster seats. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, number 14 on the season, and that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Here's Mookie Betts. He was one for four with a triple in the ball game last night. Here's the first pitch to him. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. A solo home run there for Mookie. Home run number five on the year as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Here's Steve Pierce now. Fouled away. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. He swings and crushes it. Oh my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home run. A solo shot that time for Steve Pierce. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Red Sox open it up even further, it's now 4 0. Xander Bogarts now. Xander. A swing, and there it goes. Forget about it. This is going to be back to back to back to back home run. What an awesome moment for this team right here. That's the fourth home run in a row. There's a fight at the back rack right now. Guys are chomping at the bit to get up and play. This is line to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Here's Jackie Bradley now in past Bradley. meetings with Jay Happ. It's a big enough sample size, but he's just one for 14. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Judge is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. 
So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. Boston's out in front, five to nothing. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone! It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Fourth home run here in the early going. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Popped him up. Pedroia is there. Makes the play one away. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer. But this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing line. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. One out, nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Count remains two and two. The two two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for pushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Grounded up the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Red Sox 5 and the Yankees. Coming to the plate now, Christian Vasquez. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Gregorius will wait on it. One gone. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Hicks is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. And now in the box, Dustin Pedroia will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Back goes Stanton, and it's gone as they add still another.
a solo home run off the bat of Dustin Pedroia. Fourth home run here in the early going, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty V. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changed. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Stepping in now, Mookie Betts. Lifted in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. And that's the third out. Here's Didi Gregorius. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Swinging a soft liner, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. That's why there's no justice in this game. Pitcher executes a perfect fastball inside, jams him, beats him, steals his wallet, and he's still able to get him out. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. High in the air out to center field. Should be no trouble for Bradley, and there's out number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Miguel Andujar now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Gregorius leads off first with one away. Tapper up the line, but it gets fouled. A ball and two strikes. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They're down 7-1. to one. Standing in, Steve Pierce. He's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And he leaps and makes the circus catch. My goodness, what a play there. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and pulled it in. Great stuff. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Ian Kinsler. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ian Kinsler hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. High pop-up. Anduhar is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. 
Down in order go the Red Sox. They're on top seven to one. Here's big Aaron Judge. Fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is on the ground over to first. And now from the air, a jump throw. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Ready now, Giancarlo Stanton. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. In the last at bat, Matty V, that was a changeup he hit to straightaway center field. This guy looks to hit the ball yeah, right. right through the middle of the diamond. And if you elevate the ball like he did on that last one and get that ball up in the zone, he could take you out of the ballpark. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And that one just missed outside. One, two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Wind up and the 0 1. Fastball hit on the ground is short. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Bombers. They're down 7 to 1. Here's Jackie Bradley now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. A solo shot off the bat of Jackie Bradley Jr. Home run number five on the year, as this is now a seven-run ball game. manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. Chad Green answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Gone over the monster for a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Fourth home run here in the early going as they've widened this lead to eighth now. Almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Yeah, Matty B, you don't see this very often, d when it's cold and chilly like this. Wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! Solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now.
if you've lost count, it's understandable. That was their ninth home run of the game. Can you believe what we're seeing in this? Can you believe what we're seeing out of this lineup today, guys? Yeah, Matty B. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down the pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. Here's Mookie Betts. Rounded down the third baseline. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Well, the pitcher's got to respect that. Third baseman getting dirty right there, trying to save him some extra bases. Here's Steve Pierce now. Oh, and he leaves another one over the plate, and this ball's driven to left. And for the third time tonight, he has served up a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left is second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. High pop-up. Andujar has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Riding in for Boston, Ian Kinsler. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive to center field. And this will be a base hit for Kinsler. Now batting. Center fielder. Jackie Bradley Jr. Digging in once again. Jackie Bradley Jr. This of course his second appearance in the inning as they've now batted around. Well Matt this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Well, he definitely puts a charge into this one, and the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on. Next thing you know, the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. In now, Christian Vasquez. He swings and lines it to left. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. And the second run will score as well. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night. And that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Voigt is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. Big inning for him, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. We played four full. The Red Sox on top, 15 to 1. Digging in to try it again. Luke Voigt. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now that number 25. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. It's one and two. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Yeehaw. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And a pitch in the one dirt one. as he lays off. It's one and one. High in the air into shallow left center. Bogarts is calling for it. And the inning is over. The Yanks go one, two, three. And they remain well, well behind. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. This one's down to third. And that's the first out. Here's J.D. Martinez. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Torres is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Right fielder. Mookie Betts. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Mookie Betts. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is skied into short left center. Stanton has a read on it. And that's the third out. Red Sox go down one, two, three. So stepping in, Aaron Hicks. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. A lot of movement that time, it's 0-2. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two-seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back to it. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses, one and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late light. Here's the first pitch to him. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it is Betts, and Mookie's got it for the second out. Next will be the designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two-hitter finds a way on, it really sets up the very good middle part of the order to do some damage after all.
fans a reminder that our series with the Yankees continues right here tomorrow night. Seats are going fast. Be sure to stop by any stadium ticket window on your way out of the ballpark or check us out online at RedSox.com. And we'll see you here at Fenway Park.
one run two hits and no errors for the Yankees so far.
Sox fan, make your plans now to join the Red Sox wives and players at the annual picnic in the park following next Sunday's Sox game. Tickets will include a new blanket, a goodie bag, dinner. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Steve Pierce will stand in looking for home run number three as we take you back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. It looked like he broke into his home run spot a little early, and, and I can't blame him. He's already had two, but this one just misses, and he'll settle for a double. Having a heck of a game, though. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Comes set, and the 0-1 is in there for the second strike. 0-2. From the stretch. Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for route number one. Now batting, Ian Kinsler. He reached out a single last time and later wound up scoring. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air to center field. Hicks is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. Runner in scoring position with two. He's set and the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Hicks going back at the track. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Two run shot to straightaway center. His second home run of the game as the blowout continues. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Now a flare out toward right center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. From the stretch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's. Stepping up to the plate, Aaron Judge. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. A 1-1. One ball and two strikes to count. The bouncer to the left side. Played on the backhand. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base.
Stay safely. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No balls and a strike to count. Now the 0-1. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Bradley is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. And that's in there for a strike. Popped him up. Nunez is over now and he's got it for route number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Into the box now. Luke Boyd. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Judge leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. Yanks leave one. Jonathan Holder comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is skied into short left center. Stanton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. How about it? Here's J.D. Martinez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Torres has it. And there's out number two. Here's Mookie Betts. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Hicks going back to the track. And it's off the green monster. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in the third with a triple. His third hit of the night. It's rare to hit a triple, but he's knocking on the door of history right now. In addition to that three-bagger, which is the hardest one to get, he already has a whole... That early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Fly ball out to straightaway right. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Now so striding forward now, Didi Gregorius. He flew out in his last at bat. And they start him out away with a cold strike. One run on three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Popped him up. Vasquez over to his right and he brings it in for the second out of the inning in now Aaron Hicks it's 0 for 2 thus far in this one first offering on its way very weakly on the ground that rolls foul for strike one Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So the Yanks go. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Leading off with the left side. His first number 72. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to center field. Hicks is there, and he has it for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. First pitch coming. Here it is. High pop-up. Sanchez 
calls for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lying to the right side. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. Belted, deep center field. Hicks going back. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Man, it's like deja vu all over again. Two well hit back to back doubles that bring in a run. This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swings against him. Standing in now, Eduardo Nunez, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern... Here's Miguel Andujar now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A wave and a miss. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting, designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Stays alive, still 0 2. struck him out so double digits now 10 strikeouts for him thus far pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning what's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in here's big Aaron Judge he swings and sends it in the air to right center field he's got it and the Red Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. 18-1 to one this evening. The Boston Red Sox came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them...